Hi there, my name is Justin Estrada, the founder of My Digital Sauce. And in this tutorial, we are going to be building responsive email templates with MGML. In this tutorial, we're going to go over what is MGML, we're going to get started with MGML, and then we're going to create the responsive email. Then we're going to convert this MGML template into the HTML email template. And then we're going to upload the template to a marketing email client like MailChimp. And then in the bonus, I'm going to show you how to go through the MGML documentation to import awesome components like a carousel into your email. So let's navigate to the blog post that I've written on creating responsive emails with MGML. So if you just go to mydigitalsauce.com, blog, and then search for responsive emails, you should find the building responsive emails with MGML um, blog post. Why should you be invested in creating responsive email templates? Well, email is one of the best ways to engage with your audience. Therefore, it's never too early to begin building your brand's email list. However, the task of creating emails that render correctly in your reader's inbox, regardless of the email client, is not a straightforward task until now. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create responsive uh, email templates, which will work in every email client, including all new smartphone, mail clients, and apps. What is MGML? MGML stands for Mailjet Markup Language. It's an open source framework that abstracts away the complexity of responsive email. The idea behind it is pretty simple. MGML abstracts the low level hacks for responsive emails with an easy syntax. With MGML, you're not gonna have to write tables at all. Um, you're gonna be able to use the MGML markup. MGML is responsive by design no longer are responsive emails only accessible to a handful of experts. So before we get started setting up MGML, you should know that you're gonna need to have Node.js installed on your computer so that you can run NPM commands. Uh, so getting started with MGML, official getting started documentation here at mgml.io slash download and uh, that's their instructions on how to do it, but I found that simply running a npm install dash g mgml will will set you up. So I'm going to open my command prompt here, and I'm going to type npm install dash g dash g means globally mgml. sudo is the npm command required for Mac. Uh, OS. Great! MGML just installed via our node npm package manager. So I suggest creating a folder on your desktop so it's easy to find. Just name it email templates on my desktop. So let's navigate there. Awesome. Now we're in the email templates folder. Moving on. Creating the responsive email template. Let's get a boilerplate for our new email template so we can get up and running fast. MGML.io has a bunch of boilerplates, uh, templates available. Let's choose this one. This one looks good. And you see this MGML markup on the left, Mailjet markup language on the left here. Well, we're going to want to copy this and then paste it into our favorite text editor. I love Sublime Text 3, so I'm going to open up my Sublime Text 3. You can see I already have that email templates folder that I added to my desktop. So we're going to paste that in. And you can see here that even if I set this to use the HTML markup language, ah, it looks pretty similar, but um, you can install a Sublime package that recognizes this markup easily for, uh, for MGML. So on a Windows computer, we're going to want to open up. So we're going to go to Preferences, and we're going to go Package Control, and then we're going to type Install install package awesome now our package control popped up and now we're gonna type in mgml and look at that mgml syntax right there so we just want to click on it you see down here it says mgml syntax installed successfully so now instead of selecting html as our language we can select the mgml mailjet markup language right there great so now you have the mgml code in your editor i'm gonna save this file in the email templates folder that I created on my desktop. Just email template and then it's gonna assume the 
MGML uh, file extension. Great, so now we have the email template.mgml file. Now we're going to want to convert this MGML template into uh, a .html template. So let's open up our terminal again and we're going to type MGML uh, flag r email template.mgml dash o flag um, email template.html. So that's going to be output flag email template.html. You can see here how it grabbed the .mgml template and then generated a .html template. And then if we open this in our browser, you'll see that, look at that, a responsive email template is right there. What did that take? That took like five minutes. So we just created a responsive email template in under five minutes. Awesome. Great job, everyone. So now you have a responsive email template. If you wanted to customize it, you just go back into your Sublime Text Editor. Uh, this is this MG image tag is how you would switch out the image. You replace this image right here, you know, this URL with your image URL. Add a couple exclamation marks right there. Uh, you would save um, and then you open back up your terminal. You just rerun that command and then you open up that .html email template again and you can see that see all those exclamation marks it just generated again let's swap out that that gif with this image right there so I just copied the the image URL and then we just paste it there awesome let's run the command again so it generates the .html again you can see how that, that image appeared at the top there. Congratulations, now you have an awesome responsive email template using the power of NPM and MGML. You can now upload this email template file to your favorite marketing platform like MailChimp. So I'm gonna log into MailChimp. Let's go to MailChimp. I'll log in. Let's log in, let's go to templates. Let's go to create a template and I'm going to import so it's a little it's a little bit off screen here, but I went to my email templates folder on the desktop. So I'm gonna click the email template.html, upload it. Be like, uh, you know, YouTube, cool. Upload it. Sweet. Now we have this in Mailchimp, and you can test this and send a test email to yourself. So, Justin at mydigitalsauce.com, and then. In my email client, I'll have a responsive email up here. Now we're going to go over the bonus section, adding awesome uh, MGML components. You can see all the amazing things you can do with MGML by checking out their documentation. Uh, for example, you can add an awesome carousel that can scroll through multiple images. I've never seen this before in any email builder. Not even MailChimp has this, so it's really exciting. Below is a markup code for the carousel, but we're going to go check out the documentation. So look at here. Um, if you are concerned about not knowing how to manipulate the MGML like image tag, you just go type it MGML. You just type MGML image here and then click on it and then it'll show you the documentation and all the different attributes that are available to you there. And this is where you want to reference all the cool MGML tags that you can use. So there's social icons, there's an accordion, carousel, nav bar, uh, invoice, location. There's all these cool stuff, and um, you'll want to you'll want to so that and th this is how you'll input text in the MGML. So you always have to have a section, a column, a text, and HTML. So you can see here uh, it takes a section and the column. This is probably like this turns into the table, and then this turns into the the table row, and then this turns into uh, the TD. For example, you always need you always need that section with an inner wrapper of a column, and then the text, and then you'll want to type your basic HTML within the this text wrapper. So let's go to the carousel. Awesome! Look at this awesome carousel. This will this will be in our email. So let's just grab from this section to this section. Let's open up back up our text editor. And then I want to replace that GIF. So I'm going to highlight this section, paste in my new carousel, save it, 
go back to the terminal, rerun that command, and then refresh. Look at that. Now we have a responsive carousel inside our email template. Wonderful. This concludes the My Digital Sauce Creating Responsive Email Templates tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to make responsive emails. If there's anything I left out or anything else you'd like me to cover in the future, please leave a comment below. Thanks.